there friends welcome to spicy cat jams today we're doing ipsy for january now i am going to film part one of this and then i will mesh them together because it is january 28th and i have not received my january glam bag yet didn't add anything exciting i did sign up i guess for their refreshments because i wanted to try that out so I don't know if that's the problem. I checked the tracking and I don't know. It like is going all over the world, but it's not coming to me. So, but what I did get, I thought I would show you. So I am trying to do a limited spend this year in general. I am not planning to cancel Ipsy as of now. I think I renew in June, I pay annually. So I still have time to think about that, but I am trying not to do a bunch of add-ons or shop the sales or even go on to the app because I have zero willpower. However, I already failed in January. So, I have two things to show you. First, I'm going to show you this. If you are a seasoned friend or have been watching my Ipsy's for a while, you know, was it back in November? I had issues with um, the the mystery bags not equaling value yada yada went back and forth with customer support can't remember well here was the result oh yeah their first resolution was they were going to let me when i bought something pick a second thing free now i called bs on that and wrote back to them and said so you basically said that so your solution to my <laughs> dissatisfaction is that a word? To being dissatisfied is you are going to make me buy something so I can get something free. And I said, thanks, but no thanks. And I just suggested, you know, their whole thing was, you know, well, we advertise the top value you could get in these mystery bags. And I said, well, that's kind of a crock. I said, why don't you list the minimum value to be more accurate? Because what you sent me was not even half of what you advertised as value. Again, it was still more than I paid, but it's just, it's an advertising thing. I understand advertising. I went to school for it. And then I said, and the main thing, I said, the two things that bother me most is you are making me buy something to get something. And you didn't even question when I told you I received product that had been used. That didn't even like deserve a response from you so the girl's like oh I'm so sorry you know their customer support I sent you something as just a thank you as a free gift so I got that that was in this bag this arrived I forget when but in plenty of time so she sent me a nail polish I'm not gonna complain about it I mean it's still something it's one I don't have and I've never tried this brand Inara Inara I believe Cosmo Beauty color do we have batch it was manufactured 518 2018 it expires April of 21 so it's old it's a nail polish like I didn't even know it expired but it's this color it's called the pulse it is a bright I don't know cherryish red seems more red than um, it's not like blood red but it's not orange red so I've actually started using nail polish a lot in my coloring pages. Just saying. Works perfect for backgrounds. People use acrylic paints on the stuff. This way I get some shine. So then I did cave and I bought, they had a special. Now here you're gonna laugh at what I bought because again, I don't wanna buy things. They have started putting, they obviously have an excess of their glam bags. And they've reorganized their different tiers and the like. I've only ever subscribed to the $12 bag. But this was last February's bag, and I absolutely loved it. I've raved about it before. I have bought additional mystery bags from February just to get it. Well, they just sold the three-pack of the bags as empties for, at that time, their basic, basic glam bag, glam bag plus and ultimate I still I don't know what they were called but I had purchased this one before which was with the $50 tier 
and I have one of these bags and I love it. It has a extra pocket on the inside. It's actually quite large and I used it like when I went on my little vacation, I put all my toiletries in here and it's, I know, fabric. It's not the smartest inside. It's got a lining, but outside, yeah, it could get wet, whatever, but I just love it. I think it's beautiful. The mid-tier, I have one of these because, again, I purchased, like, a mystery bag of it. This, it's all the same colors. I do like this one. And then this was the actual glam bag. So you can see size-wise, these are pretty much the same size. It is just, this one's a teeny bit bigger. And, um, yeah. So I wanted all three of those bags. And it was $9 for all three empty bags. So I caved for that. And then at the same time, they were doing some other like, they weren't even mysteries. You knew what the products were and they would all come in a glam bag. So there were like skincare things. They had, um, I think they were all around the $10 range because if it was $10, you got a free bag. Obviously they must have some warehouse cleaning out that they want to get rid of bags. So this interestingly came in, like in a little slip bag and it's some lip products i do not leave lip products but i bought them and it was i don't remember which month this bag was but it's very pretty it's very sparkly can you see all that sequin so and the three products it came with well, I to make sure that wasn't a policeman behind me i'm parked on the side of the road here it came with half a caked lip fondant in somewhere low key I'm not sure what this color is I'm not going to open it because I'm pretty sure I have this because I have purchased many lip products it has a bullet lipstick from La Muse or LA Muse um, oh it's actually deep color lip balm so it's not a lipstick I know I'm blurry but I want to pull this out which makes me excited Ooh, look how pretty this is we're going to try this one on deep color lip balm it actually twists off it doesn't pull off and look how dark that is should we see if it's actually dark on your lips or if it's a true lip balm it definitely gives some color Okay, it looks orange in the camera. It is not orange in person. Orange would not fly. Very comfortable. Cherry color. I'm excited for this. I'm excited. Expires 2023. <laughs> I'm happy with this one. So I can wear it under my mask. And I think I have one of these, but this is Pixie um, Lip Lift Max. It's a glossy lip maximizer can't remember if that means it gives a little plump but it's honey sheen is the color i'm not going to open that up because i'm pretty sure i have a duplicate of this as well but honestly there was three full-size lip products plus you didn't know which bag you were going to get this bag is fine um it's got some spray stray uh fishing line or something going on here i can trim that up but for 10 bucks, three full-size lip products, I caved. Did I need any of them? No. Did I need any of these bags? No. But I got them. So that's part one of the January Ipsy. As soon as the um, actual glam bag comes in, I will film that, share it with you, and splice them together. Hey, I'm back. Finally got my Ipsy. Seriously, like the last day of the month. I'm going to film this a little different because I'm doing a bunch of filming for my coloring channel. And I have the phone set up this way. So first up, Gabby. Yeah. Did some, you know, she likes the Ipsy bag. I did. So Ipsy, I can't remember if I said this in the first half, they started this refreshments um, subscription. I signed up for it. I'm going to keep it one more month and then I may cancel it just because I was curious. And basically it's like, um, you'll see there's two items 
and they're always adding new items. A lot of things that we maybe use every month. So I'll do that last. So let's do the bag. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Um, the Ipsy bag first. So this is the bag. I kind of like these um, transparent. It's not 100% transparent, but it just has that smell of new shower curtain is all I can say. It says a dream. I really like the zipper pull. The zipper pull is always one of my favorite things. I like that it's big enough for my finger to just grab it and open it. I also like the blue color. Did receive a Dream It, a info sheet, and it has all of our information on it. So let's go through the products. First one, a brush. I always like brushes. This is from La Russe. It is the tapered blending brush. It's kind of an interesting nubby little uh, handle there. Anyway, hopefully this is all focusing. Like I said, new, new setup, um, which isn't bad. I don't get to see you. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bella and Argent bore someone else. Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's the name of the nail polish. This is full size. So here you go. I got two full size products. It was $12 for the bag. The brush was $28. Get out. Uh, who would pay $28 for a single brush? Not I. I will pay $12 and get four other products. So nail polish is $13. This has a little bit of a metallic shift. It's not just a like solid interesting deep wine color that's pretty i love getting nail polishes i have not tried this brand before so nail polish then salmon cream what the heck salmon cream by row Okay, seriously, row fish eggs. Okay, sorry. I'm not, it even has a little salmon image on it. I don't like eating seafood, so hope it doesn't smell like it. <laughs> it is, what is this? A, it's made from salmon extract and massage into your face. So it's basically a moisturizer. You can use it on your face and neck specifically on dry spots so i will use it i'm sure it does not smell like fish if my cats come licking my face afterwards that's something else then this is hey honey i do like the hey honey um company this is their trick and treat active moisturizing cream with honey and propolis in the shade light to medium i'll use this um, I use tinted moisturizer, CC creams all the time. And one more item. This is the one I chose because it sounded very interesting. It is a scalp. I almost said kelp. Now I'm like stuck on fish. Um, a Cosette is the brand Salt Scalp Scrub. Gracie Salt and Bamboo Charcoal. So how much are you supposed to use? Section wet hair in to review your scalp, massage, to exfoliate. Rinse with water, then shampoo and condition. Okay, good to know the right order. So we shall see. Doesn't really tell me how much to apply, but I was excited. This was something I have not tried. I don't know that my scalp needs exfoliating, but we're going to try. Worst case, uh, just use it on my body. So those are my five items. Anybody, anybody, beg twinsies, someday we will. So then the refreshments, I think it even talks about it here. They talk about it. Introducing refreshments. Starts at $5, I think if you were to get one item. So the two items that were like 
automatic. I'm going to show you. It's a hand cream and face wipes. They also had body wash, um, which you could purchase as add-on. Some body wash, a body lotion, body cream, and a shave cream. So let me show you the items. I did sign up now, so they've got like a shaving package for next month. And you can skip and decide how often you want these items. So that is kind of fun because I don't, seriously, I get enough lotion anyway. I don't need one every month. So it comes in this little pretty bag, drawstring bag. I did not expect that. And let's look at my items. What else do we got in here? Two items and, oh, stickers, because every adult woman wants stickers. They're holographic. I guess you could work, put them in a planner or something. A uh, little brochure. So it ships every month with your bag. If this is what took mine so long to get here, not impressed. You have till the end of the month to um, make your changes. You can skip. Clean ingredients, cruelty-free, vegan. Very exciting. So here are the items you can get. And it kind of tells you the prices. So this is your body cream. Can you see that? There. Um, $9. $11 value. Not huge savings. I think it's more the convenience. It can be sent to you every month. They have a body wash. Again, $9. $11 value. Here we go. I think this was already available now. Maybe it wasn't originally. $6, $8 value for some shave cream. I am trying the, the razors. So um, next month is the only thing I signed up for. $5 price, $7. Here is the hand cream, which we will open up and review. Um, $5 and $7 value. Face wipes, biodegradable, that's cool. Um, $6, $8 value. So that is the types of products. So here we have Luscious Hand Cream and Citrus Spritz, two ounces. Check her out. Ooh, we got a safety seal. Safety seal, as my friend Abadabs would sing. And. Um, I want to just test and so I took the seal off and it has, you know, your flip top lid. Ugh, I can't flip it. There we go. But I'm going to just squirt some out right now because I have a bunch. Um, so I would imagine this is thicker than the body creams. Typically hand creams are, you can see it's nice and thick. My hands are definitely dry. Cat scratches. It kind of, when you're putting it on, for um, as thick as it is, it, it feels almost watery. It kind of dissipates pretty quickly. Definitely absorbs. Eh, I was hoping it'd have a stronger citrus, orangey smell. <laughs> Do my hands look moisturized? It's not a strong scent at all. And... Yeah, hands are definitely a little greasy, like if you did the doorknob test, I don't think I'd make it right now, but I'll keep that by my desk. Not something, I mean, I have other hand creams, and because I get ipsy, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just testing this out. Really doubt I'm going to keep the add-on subscription here. And then cleansing face wipes. I love that they have the poppable pop top. I really do not like the ones with just the resealable piece of tape. Um, they never seem to um, last as long as the wipes. So it is just to, um, yeah, it's your face wash or face wash, <laughs> face wipe. So let's test one out. Oh, there you are friends. Hi. <laughs> Let's see how big they are. Oh, I just did my nails. I don't want to wreck them. Opening. So then this is the type of thing I don't like when this is the only thing they have. Not very strong. I just stuck it up my nose. You couldn't see that. Um, 
So there's 30 wipes in here. Let's take one out. See how big it is. I don't have anything to compare it to, but to me, this seems like a pretty decent sized makeup remover wipe. I do like that they're biodegradable. I'm gonna just like take my glasses off here and wipe down my face. I don't have any makeup on, but sometimes does anybody else just do that with like wipes just to like degrease and freshen yourself up a little bit? I do that all the time. And can you see, I evidently had some grease and dirt. I left over from work. So it feels good on my skin. It does not tug. It's not rough. It's soft. It doesn't leave much of a film. Um, obviously, you're not going to do any big scrubbing. It's kind of instantly wears, if that makes sense. So I can wipe off the lotion that's not absorbed on the palm of my hand. So... These aren't bad. Again, do I? They're kind of stretchy, but um, not something I probably need. They like. Do you see how much that really stretched out? Huh. Anyway, there you go, friends. That's what we got. My Ipsy bag. You already saw what I caved and purchased. So, um, yeah, that happened. Here we got my refreshments and my bag and my stickers because that's what we all want is some stickers. So, okay, friends, thank you so much for hanging out. Let me know if anybody else signed up for the refreshments and what you think of it. Is this worth it? Do you think it's a good value? Um, you know, prices aren't bad and quality seems okay. We'll see how the razors are next month and then decide. I did already change it, so I'm skipping these because I do not need them every month. With my luck, they will, it'll show up early, and this one showed up at the end of the month. So, all right. Let me know. Chat me up. And remember, you matter. You. See, this is what I don't like. I can't see you. Hello. I'd stick my head under, but we know it's too big. It won't fit in there. So you matter. You are amazing. You are a huge refreshment <laughs> in my life. You're refreshing. That sounds better than a refreshment. So have a great day, friends. I love you. See you again soon.